pest control. This is a very touchy subject with growers. Just these things are insidious little creatures and they, they're out to destroy you. I'm not kidding you, it's war, open warfare on these things. A lot of growers uh, use different techniques. I, I prefer to use only things that I will actually consume. I, I use a product called neem oil and I use it from the beginning of the grow until uh, probably about three weeks before harvest. I never spray the actual flowers with it, but neem oil is a natural product and it, it's derived from the neem tree. And I believe it grows in India mostly. And uh, I'm not sure if it's from the sap, but I know it's produced by the neem tree and it's a natural oil. You can actually eat it, you can put it on your skin, and and so it's it's not harmful. And uh, the the worst predator to deal with, in my estimation, is spider mites. They're they're they look like spiders. They're almost microscopic. You have to to use a high magnifying glass in order to see them really closely, but every three days these things are putting out eggs and the longer you let it go the more out of control they'll become and if you see little webbing on your plants you're you're way way too far gone but you want us at the first sign of any type of uh the first sign of spider mites is going to be little yellow spots on the top of your leaves they actually live on the underside of the leaf and everywhere they start to suck out the goodness of your plant, it leaves a little necrotic spot, a little yellow dead spot on the leaves. Another uh, predator would be uh, white flies. They're little tiny, real small little, they're white and uh, they're kind of hard to get rid of also. But by using the neem oil, if you spray it on the underside of the leaf and on the top, the, spray the entire plant the stalks the underside if you're using soil spray around the uh, container and uh, get in there every three days for about five consecutive sprayings spray five times every well every three days for five times and that is going to reduce the population down to a controllable level you're you probably, once you get those little things, you're probably never going to get rid of all of them, but you got to keep them in check. There's a couple other products to, that are good. Uh, pyrethrum, it's made from the chrysanthemum flower. It's also uh, fairly uh, user friendly. They come in aerosol cans and some little pump sprays also. And uh, the same goes for them. Every three days, you gotta drop a bomb on them or spray them with the pyrethrum. And uh, there's, an, there's another product called SMC. I'm not sure what's in it, but it works really well also. Uh, same thing, every three days. You have thrips, uh, white flies, spider mites. Uh, those are the main three that are really the worst but they're all controllable and like I say the neem oil is the one that I use basically because if I can eat it I'm not worried about it being on my flowers when I consume them and also clean your walls and everything with a light you can take a spray take a, a light like about a tablespoon of bleach Clorox bleach to a liter of water mix it well and spray your walls down spray all around the floor and everything keep your grow room really clean like i said keep your clothes if you come in from outside change your clothes never wear your shoes into your grow room because you're tracking in it also takes us a couple little eggs or a couple little bugs and pretty soon your whole room is overwhelmed and it really can be destructive